Domestication and selective breeding of the major commercial fish species are essential to support the expected growth of agriculture by 20 million tons over the next 10 years. The rapid selection for desirable traits, such as growth during adaptation to new environmental conditions in fish undergoing domestication, cannot be explained only by changes in the DNA sequence. The EpiFish project is based on the hypothesis that epigenetic mechanisms such as DNA modifications and non-coding RNAs are involved in growth improvements during fish domestication. Our research model is the Nile tilapia because it is one of the most important aquaculture fish species worldwide. Farmed in over 120 countries and with a global production of 7.6 billion US dollars in 2017. We collected fertilized eggs from wild Nile tilapia females in Egypt and transported them to our research station at Nord University in Norway, where we developed a breeding program based on growth by selecting the fastest growing fish, 10% larger than the average, as parents for the next generation. Using state-of-the-art methods to scan their whole genome for DNA modifications, we discovered that methylation and hydroxymethylation levels of key genes involved in muscle growth and immunity changed during domestication. We also found several small RNAs that are promising growth markers since their expression is strongly correlated to fish size. Unveiling the epigenetic basis of fish domestication will add a new dimension to selective breeding of commercially relevant species, thus contributing to increased profitability and sustainability of the aquaculture sector.